Hello and welcome to Relational Rhythms for Couples. We are the Sonkos. Patrick. And Ceci. And Sonko means in Quechua, the heart. So welcome to the space of the heart and the worlds of the heart. Relational Rhythms for Couples is something that we really love because we are a couple for more than five and a half years. So let me take you a little bit into the world of couples and relational rhythms. So imagine that. You have this wonderful time, everything flows, you're having fun, you're laughing, everything is perfect, and then bam, something happens. Your button is pushed. She did it. Oh, he did it. Bummer. What you do? This is life. And a lovely time is over. You're disconnected. You feel confused. You're hurt. You feel misunderstood. You feel unloved. You feel angry. You feel like running into your cave. Or maybe you decide to keep silence. And yet you have choices here. And we call that the choice point. My fellow men, we don't need to go into caves. And ladies, you don't need to get silent. There's other choices. The first ones are not our favorites, but still very important. One choice would be that you're going to be very quiet now and you're going to be really in your mind and rational and adult, analyze the situation, find the best option for this, and then convince the other. You can argue to try to find who is wrong and who is right. Not down my alley because I don't believe in right and wrong, but... You could. You could also try and make up sex. And then, what happened after? Are you going to still repeat the same situations? Maybe. So what have we found is that the relational rhythms are really helping us. Relational rhythms means that you have a point of connection. And a point of connection creates a rhythm. And for us, it takes Three parts for those rhythms. The first part is connect with the self. So when you connect with self, you kind of go from that mind space or that over-emotional space into the space of your heart or your true self. And you connect to the pain that the situation brings to you. You own it, you embrace it, and you find a way to get out of it. Some may call that self-healing. Mm -hmm. And depending on your level of intimacy and how well you know with each other, you can actually talk about that. What a bonus. The next one is connect with your beloved. And this is having the courage to connect to the conflict. Let me give you an example. Ceci loves literal language. Everything has to be so clear and rational. I love the figurative world. You love to fly. So really, it's always a conflict, not always, but it can be a conflict depending on a situation. I make space now for her when I connect, I connect to her literal world. And um, I try to fly in his war. So actually, all of a sudden, it is not so hard anymore. And the last one is connecting beyond. And that is really looking at what is the higher purpose here. What is the higher influences, or not so high influences? Has somebody influenced that situation? Has somebody tried to set you up to have this situation? Or is it really something that is important? Can you learn something from this? And when you have those three connections, then you have the real relational rhythms. It works for us. Yeah. Does it work the first time? No, but everything takes time. Yes. We hope that this little video has benefited you. We hope that you can find yourself and maybe try to enjoy those relational rhythms. We are sharing our journey from the heart. With you. So we hope to see you soon. Keep in touch with us.